Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have my February empties. Um, and also, I'm going to do my um, February sheet mask empties in this video because I don't have a lot of either one. So I thought I would just lump both of them into one video. And what is that? Some sheet. Oh, I know what this is. It's a makeup remover wipe in my empties bin. Anyway, but before I get started with this, um, I just want to address the video that went up before this one. Um, that was a very difficult video at the end. And if you watch that, I, I do apologize. I don't do a whole lot of personal things on my videos. Um, but anyway, I do apologize. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to get through this. We're going to get through this. It will be fine. But anyway, I just want to put that out there that um, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to fluff my hair. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be okay. So I'll get, I'm going to make it through. Anyway, so let's get started with the empties. Dr. Teal's Bath Epsom Salts. And this one was in the coconut oil to nourish and protect the skin. And this one definitely does have um, some softening agents in it. So it's not just the Epsom salt. You can definitely feel the oil in this. So if you don't want some kind of oiliness in your water, you probably wouldn't like this one. And plus it does have the coconut smell in it. But yes, I like it though. So I would definitely repurchase. Right now we're just using some plain, good old, just plain old Epsom salts right now from Walmart, the Equate brand. Big old five pound bag of it. So anyway, um, some cotton rounds from Ulta, the exfoliating quilted rounds. These used to be really, really good and I used to really, really like them, but they've they've changed the quality of them. They're not as good as what they used to be. They come apart really, really easily now. Not the biggest fan of them anymore. And I say I wouldn't repurchase them, but I just placed an Ulta order that I just got in and I threw another package of them in that order. So anyway, I think I like the ones from, from Target better. I might try some from Walmart again. Anyway, not as good as they used to be. Another um, makeup remover wipe. This was in a pack that I bought at TJ Maxx. I'm on my last pack of them. I don't like them as well as I like the ones that I was buying from Big Lots. I'm going to go back to those, but this is from Spa Scriptions. And this was the Glacier Water and Glycolic Acid um, Cleansing Wipe. The only way I use these is of the morning when I'm getting ready. Um, when I put my eye makeup on, I guess I'm just really, really messy. And <laughs> I get it all up under here when I put my eye primer on, when I put my eyeshadow on, when everything and I just have a big old mess under here, underneath my eye. So I take this and I clean it all up here before I start doing my foundation and everything. So that's mainly what I use this for. And then sometimes on my hand, I may be using two different foundations and I'll mix it on the back of my hand. So I'll use it to wipe my hand off. Um, I may use it to wipe off my um, makeup sponge, you know, different things like that. That's how I use these. I don't use them necessarily to take my makeup off with. But anyway, that's how I use those. And then I have a product that um, I'm trying to go through my stuff and really use up my stuff. And, you know, I'm coming across products that I, I don't like and I didn't use. I may have used part of it and then decided I didn't like it and just put it back in my cabinet. So I'm trying to pull things out of my cabinet and figure out a way to use it other than its intended use. And this is one of those products that I had, I've had, gosh, I've had this for a very long time. This is Redken number one, Outshine number one, um, it's an anti-frizz 
polishing milk or something like that. It's for your hair. Anyway, I probably had used like half of it and then stuck it in the cabinet because I decided I didn't, didn't like it. And how I ended up finished using it was I used it to shave my legs. I think I had another product in my last empties that was supposed to be for hair that I ended up using to shave my legs. But I used it to shave my legs. So I used it, just not how it was supposed to be used. And um, yeah, so use that up. Here's a product that was in a little kit that I used. I'm going to have to put my glasses on. And this was the Zotus Professionals All About Curls High Definition Gel, a crunch crunchless ultra, ultra hold. Um, I wasn't too crazy about it. Um, I've been trying to do the curly girl method um, way of taking care of my curls. And one of those is not to use, you know, silicones, um, parabens, and sulfates. And this was in a kit, and um, I just can't quit using my my Weed Add Moisturizing Curl Quencher Gel. I just like it too much, and um, this was okay. But anyway, I used it, and it didn't take me very long to use it because there wasn't much in here. But it was all right. Don't think I'll repurchase that. But anyway. Here is a cleanser from La Roche Posay, the Everclear Medicated Gel Cleanser. Um, this has some salicylic acid in it because back during the summer I was having a horrible time with um, some acne going on here with my chin. And this is the 2% salicylic acid. Um, it had 0.05% micro exfoliating LHA. Um, is the cleanse targets excess oil I don't know if I really had excess of oil but I was just trying this to combat some acne like I said that just kept recurring and recurring and recurring and I think it was just a hormone imbalance that's been going on with me because I'm pre pre -men -men menopausal Pre perimenopausal, that's it. Peri pre perimenopausal. My body is getting prepared to start menopause, but it's not at menopause yet. And so it's kind of like that in between stage, which has just um, messed everything <laughs> completely up with my hormones, with my moods, with my system. It's, it's just been really, really rough really really rough anyway I use this up it's just a cleanser um, I'm not going to repurchase I don't think I needed to need to I don't think it really helped at the time anyway so not going to repurchase this product now this is one of my favorite products I've used this several several bottles of this I don't know how many bottles I've repurchased of this and it's the Manu Factory Rosehip Oil Mist really really like this this is a product that I, I have something in my eye I think it's a piece of cotton from when I put my makeup on this morning <laughs> caught on my eyelash or something anyway um, I would use this after I put all my makeup on and just to kind of tone down that powder look make sure everything kind of melds in together plus it was an oil it helps moisturize and hydrate the skin and just really kind of makes a really nice glow to the skin. I just really, really like it. Plus the smell of it is just so good. <sighs> Smells like roses, love it. Absolutely love it. I'm using one from Trader Joe's right now that I'm really, really enjoying. Man, I just can't get that out of my eye. But um, once the one from Trader Joe's goes away, I'll probably order another, some more of these if there's a sale because they're a little pricey, but unless you can get a good sell on that. But I really do like that. Um, ooh, I finished up my Truth Serum from Ola Henriksen. This is a vitamin C serum. Really do like this, um, but it's a little on the pricey side. So I ordered one off of Amazon. Dr. Bronner's, I think it is. Um, Angie from Hot and Flashy had recommended it. It was around $20, so I'm trying that one right now, but I really do like this one. This is a good vitamin 
C. Oh, it smells good. I feel like oranges. But this is a really good vitamin C serum that I do recommend. But I did finish that. I think I bought this back during the Sephora VIB sale back in November. So November, December, January. Probably about the middle of February is when I finished it. So it lasted me like three and a half months. Thereabouts. And I use this every, I was using it every morning was when I was using my vitamin C. Really did like it. And then I have from Wish Trend, this is the green tea and enzyme powder wash. And this I would use at night um, after I take all my makeup off as a second cleanse. And would use it just maybe once a week at that because it was an enzyme product. So it was definitely an exfoliating product and it could be a little bit harsh. So I had to be really careful with how I was using it because I didn't want to overdo it because it could get, could irritate the skin. But I did like it. I really did. I don't need to repurchase in an enzyme powder wash right now because I have one, I have one from um, Tatcha and I have one from, um, oh, what is that brand? There's another one that's a brand. What is that brand? I can't remember what the brand is. Oh, I can see it. Anyway, I have another one that's an enzyme. And then I have another one that's a rose that's kind of like an enzyme that I, that's a powder. Those are all three powder cleansers that I need to use before I order another one. But this is really good. If you want a really good enzyme powder wash, this is a really good one. And like I said, it's from Wish Trend. So go into the Wish Trend website and put in the green tea and enzyme powder wash and you can find that and um, like I said it's really good exfoliating and polishing pine enzymes green tea powder like I said it's just a powder you add a little bit of water to it you depending on how much water you add to it will depend on how much um, exfoliation you get with it but Trust me, you would only want to use this maybe once a week, maybe even once every other week. But it took a long time to use it too because there's a lot of product in this. In this. How much product is in here? 2.47 ounces. And like I said, it didn't take much. Not much at all. Lasted a long time. Then I have a couple of eyebrow pencils from e.l.f. and both of these are in blonde and the reason why I have two for the month is because one of these broke and so I didn't actually finish it because it broke. Womp womp. I know they're only two dollars but still it's two dollars. Two dollars of my money that I spent and I don't expect, expect it to break but it did. But anyway so I have two of those. Then I have an eyeliner that I finished, and this is from Pure, Pure Cosmetics, and the, this was in a um, grouping, a bundle of them that was sent to me for a review, and this one was the Down to Earth Eyeliner. It's the On Point Eyeliner. These were the ones that um, you put, you twist it here, you put it in the, every time you put it in here, it would sharpen it so it was always sharpened and I think that's why it probably didn't last as long oh there's more in there hmm. I thought it was empty but look there's more in there so that's really not an empty it's almost empty probably get a couple more well scratch that that's not empty I can get a couple more uses out of that never mind so Okay, that's not empty. This is, this is a perfume. <laughs> this is from uh, Louis Vuitton. It's the Apache perfume. Um, these were the little um, travel ones that I bought. It was in a little container, a group, and it comes with a little atomizer. There's five of these little vials, and this is just one of the vials that I use. I love the smell of this perfume. Oh, see. You just put this into the little atomizer. So I finished one of those up. It smells so good. I can't even explain it. It's like a really floral, 
floral scent to it. Yeah, I really like it. Will I repurchase it? Probably not because I think it was like $200 for these. There was five of, the, five of these little vials, I think. Was it 200? I'm pretty sure it's like 200. Yeah. And then a product that I am um, decluttering is from Becca and it's a lip gloss. Glow gloss in the color um, lilac, lilac geode, geode, I think so. And it's just a really light gloss and I know I just won't really wear that. It just doesn't have a whole lot of color so I'm going to declutter, declutter that. But as I'm sitting here looking at it, I'm thinking, boy, that is so pretty. That would be so pretty this spring. Maybe I should keep it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's just, like, really pretty. Look, it's so pretty. It still smells good, too. It's like a minty smell. <laughs> I don't know. Now that I look at it, I'm thinking, man, that's so pretty. That would be pretty to put in my little makeup bag that I have sitting over there. And I'm getting ready to clean out and switch out the lipsticks that are in there right now and put in some new ones. I was thinking, man, that would be pretty. But I know if I look at, that wouldn't give me enough color on my lips. I have no pigment to my lips whatsoever. There is no pigment in my lips. So people that have pigment to their lips, this would look really pretty on. Anyway, okay, so now the sheet mask that I used. I didn't use that many sheet masks. I started out, was going to really use, I was going to, man, I was going to sheet mask like crazy for the month of February. I was going to use one every single day, but I just didn't. Things, things just happened. Life happened, and I just, I just didn't. So... Let's do the ones that I did use. I used one from Innisfree, My Real Squeeze Mask, and this one was um, Ginseng right here. I did like this. I'm pretty sure this came in my one of my Pink Soul boxes, which, by the way, I'm not getting this year. That was um, a Korean subscription box. That was a bi-monthly box. I had talked about that in the last, the very last one that I got, that I wasn't going to get it anymore because I just had so much skincare in stock that I just don't need any more skincare. Plus the last few boxes that I had gotten, I just wasn't that happy with the box. So anyway, I liked it. Definitely had a really good ginseng smell to it, which is dirt. It smell like dirt because <laughs> ginseng, you know, is a root. So it should smell like dirt, right? Because it's coming out of the ground. Here's another one that was in one of those boxes. And this is the Goodall Waterful Moisture Mask for moisturizing. And um, it was okay. It had hyaluronic acid in it. Um, both of these, all of these except for one I used of the morning as a morning time prep to my skin before putting on makeup. So that one was okay. I don't think I would repurchase it. I don't even know where I would even find it to repurchase it. And then I had a couple from Hada Laba. These were the anti-aging facial sheet masks with hyaluronic acid, collagen, soy peptides, and vitamin E. I had purchased a box of these from um, Sally Beauty Supply. I wasn't that impressed with them, so I'm, I would not repurchase these. I think I, I may have one or two more left to use, but I just, wasn't that, I just wasn't that excited about them. These I just purchased from um, Marshalls, a box of these. Not that impressed with these either, but I have several of them to go through, like nine more. <laughs> There was 10 in the box. This is the Holika Holika Pure Essence Mask in Avocado. So I have that. From G9 Skin, this was the Waterful Facial Mask. High Moisture Effect from Patented AMF and Ceramide Herbal Complex. 
for relax. This one was good. It had a lot of essence in it. I liked it. It looked like that there. And then my favorite one that I use out of all of these is from um, this one here from Papa Recipe. And this was the Bombay Ginseng Red Honey Oil Mask Pack. <laughs> Big old name, but this is wonderful. I love the Papa Recipes um, sheet mask. This was definitely had some good oil in it. It was very moisturizing. Loved, loved, loved it. Um, there was enough essence in here that I was able to use the essence two mornings after I used the sheet mask. This one I used at night. Definitely was a good ginseng. You could definitely smell the ginseng. Plus you could um, smell the honey in it also. But yeah, I really, I really did like this one a lot. And I've been, I keep looking on Hot Look, happy, hoping that they will have pop a recipe on Hot Look again so I could buy some more at a, at a good discount, but they haven't had them. <sighs> but anyway, that is it for my empties. I told you it wasn't really a whole lot. I just haven't, I just haven't used up a whole lot of stuff. I've just been doing just basically the basic stuff, skincare wise, the last month. Basically just cleaning my skin, taking my makeup off, cleaning my skin, and just putting some basic skincare on, not really doing any extra. Just hadn't felt like it. But anyway, um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll be talking to you soon.